Hey, what's up everyone? So in this video, we're going to do an induction proof. We're gonna prove that three to the two n plus one plus two to the n plus two is divisible by seven for all n, this means for all n greater than or equal to zero. So I haven't really gone through this problem entirely, uh, but I think we should be able to figure it out as we go through it. So let's try to do it. So proof. So whenever you start an induction proof, um, you always wanna start with the base case. So the base case uh, is that you prove your statement is true. This is your statement, right? S sub n is divisible by seven. So this is your statement. You to prove it, this is true uh, when n is equal to zero. So let's see if it's true. By the way, what does it mean to be divisible? Hmm. A divides B is equivalent to saying that B is a multiple of A. So B is equal to say M times A for some integer M, okay? So here we start by plugging in zero. So we have, so base case, I'll write it base case. So when n is 0, so we have 3 to the 0 plus 1, so that's just 3 to the 1, 2 to the 0 plus 2, so that's just 2 to the 2, so that's equal to 7. And that's clearly divisible by 7, right? 7 does divide 7. It's, I mean, it's obvious. Um, and I'll write it though, and 7 divides 7. If you really want to be picky, you could make it match this definition, right? You could say seven is equal to one times seven. So seven divides seven because seven is equal to one times seven. So, so that means the base case is done. So S sub one is true. So now we have to write down the induction hypothesis. That's basically where we assume that our statement is true for some integer k greater than or equal to zero. So let's do that. So I'm gonna squeeze it in over here. So induction hypothesis, I'll just put IH. So we say, suppose, suppose that this guy here, so three to the two K plus one plus two to the K plus two is divisible by seven. So is divisible, divisible by seven, okay? So we get to assume that it's divisible by seven, okay. Now we have to show that our statement is true when n equals um, k plus two. This is where it's gonna get really, really interesting. Okay, so let's see what happens. So this is our induction step. So I'm gonna put is. So claim, claim that this is true when n is equal to k plus one. So this is three to the two k plus one plus one plus two to the k plus one plus two. So we have to prove that this is divisible by seven. So is divisible by seven. Okay, that's our goal, right? To show that this is divisible by seven. Okay, so I'm gonna rewrite this just for my own benefit, right? Um, this is the same as three, let's skip some steps here. This is two K and then two times one is two plus one is three. So two K plus three plus two K, K plus three. Okay, that's what we have. All right, so this is what we have to show, right? It's not part of the proof, right? So let's prove it. So I'm gonna do it by just basically uh, write this down and then just show it's a multiple of seven. We have to show that this is equal to seven times some integer and then we're done. So we have three to the two K plus three plus two to the K plus three. All right, so in these divisibility proofs, they get pretty nasty, I think, and this one might get nasty. We definitely have to use this. So I think we should start uh, by manipulating this to make it look like this. So you've got the three to the two K, right? But here's a one, here's a three. So what you can do is you can pull out a three squared like this. Watch this, two K plus one, right? Because when you multiply these, you actually add the exponents, right? You do two plus one and that's equal to three, right? Two plus one is three. Cause they're the same base, right? So you add exponents uh, plus, here we just need a two, so I've got to pull out one, two here. So two to the one times two to the K plus, mm. uh, I pull out a two here. No, yeah, yeah, one, a one, a one, a one, I'm good, I'm good. Whew. Almost messed up, right? Got confused, so we're good, right? Because one plus two is three, and we want a two here, so a little bit different. Recap, here we have this, and we need a one, so I pulled out, I, I, wanted, I got rid of a two, so I wrote it as three squared times that, because two plus one is three. Here we have a three, but we want a two, right? So I wrote it as a two to the one because one plus two is three. So basically you just have to make this look like this, right? And just be really careful. I mean, I almost messed up. Um, okay, so 
uh, we know that this is divisible by 7, okay? Um, there's 9 of these and there's 2 of these. I'm going to write it again. This is 9, 3 to the 2k plus 1, plus 2, 2 to the k plus 2. So we know that whenever we have 1, 3, and 1, 2, let's just think of it like that, okay? It's divisible by 7. So if we have one of these and one of these, we get a multiple of 7. We have two of these here. We have nine of these here, so we can borrow two from this, right? So watch this. I'm going to take two of these, 2k plus 1, almost miswrote there, plus two of these, plus, so we're missing seven of these, right? This is probably like, whoa, what's going on? Check it out. So two of these plus seven of these is nine of these. Think of it as x, right? 9x is equal to 2x plus 7x, right? 2 blah plus 7 blah is 9 blah. People have a really hard time with this, okay? Um, again, it's just 2 of these plus 7 of these. Is, think of it as a variable, right? Same thing. Why do I do that? Because now I can pull out a 2 here, and we have 3 to the 2k plus 1 plus uh, 2 to the k plus 2. A lot of notation, right? Plus... 7 times 3 to the 2k plus 1. So why is that useful? Well, now you know this is divisible by 7, so this is equal to 2 times a 7 times an integer. So like, I'll just say 7m. I'll, I'll, m is some integer. Plus 7 times 3 to the 2k plus 1. Where m here is some integer. Say so m is an element in the set of integers. Okay, you can say for some integer m if you like, just running out of room. Now you can pull out the 7. So 7, this will be 2m plus 3 to the 2k plus 1. Oh, this is so cool, it worked. I'm so happy it worked. So this is a multiple of 7, right? So we showed that this bad boy is a multiple of 7. So that means that this is divisible by 7. So this means that 7 divides... 3 to the 2k plus 3, plus 2 to the k plus 3. Yeah, did I write that down right? Yeah, 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 looks okay. Uh, and that's, exa that's exactly what we had to show. So s sub k plus 1 is true. So s sub k plus 1 is true. And therefore, by the principle of mathematical induction, we are done, right? We've finished the proof. So by PMI, we're done. I'll, I guess I'll write it. Therefore, by PMI... The statement is true for all integers n greater than or equal to zero. You're supposed to say that, but I'll just say done. Just be a little bit lazy, running out of room. Um, kind of a nasty problem, right? And and it's the goal in all of these problems, right, is that you use your induction hypothesis. So I hope this video made sense. Uh, a lot of math here, right? Um, yeah, that's it. Good luck.